In this InfoPath 2007 clip, we'll take a look at ways to save time on creating forms for our company using the import feature. Then in other clips, we'll be creating a form from scratch. What we need is a form for dealing with travel expenses. One option is to customize a sample form. When InfoPath is launched and the Customize a Sample option is selected here in the Getting Started window, we see forms we can start with and customize to fit our needs. There's also a link at the bottom of the window that allows us to find more templates on Microsoft Office Online. But like a lot of companies, we have some forms created in Microsoft Word and Excel that might also work. So under Design a Form, let's choose Import a Form. In the Import Wizard, select the Importer for Excel Workbooks and click Next. Then, using the Browse button, we'll select an Excel file and click Open. Click Options to see choices on how our imported file should be handled. We'll stick with the default conversion and click OK. And Finish. The import was successful, so we'll click OK. For comparison, here's what the form looked like in Excel and how it looks imported into InfoPath. Looks like fields originally designed for dollar amounts and calculations have been imported as simple text fields. We could work with this form and add the controls we need, but let's look at another option. Click the File menu, select Close, and say No to saving changes. Going through the same steps, we'll choose to import a form this time selecting the Importer for Word documents, and click Next. We'll click Browse, choose a Form document, and click Open. We'll keep the default options like before, and click Finish. We're told the form was imported successfully, but that there might be some issues we need to address. Let's click OK and take a look. Here's how the form looks in Word and then how it imported into InfoPath. Looks pretty good, except for the placement of the company name and logo image. Look at the Design Checker task pane over on the right. It's telling us there may be an issue with how objects were imported. If we click the message, we get a further explanation about how our name and logo image were handled. This is certainly something we could adjust if we decided to use our imported form. For our purposes, though, we decide to create our travel expense form from scratch. We'll go through those steps in other clips. And as we do, keep in mind that what we'll learn in those clips could also be used to customize any sample form or any imported Word or Excel form. In this clip, we saw how easy it is to save time using InfoPath's ability to import our existing Word and Excel forms.